What's up guys? I'm Maureen Moody and I'm the Curious Stylist and I want to build your confidence in your career through education and science. So if that sounds like fun, stick around. Today I wanted to bring you uh, my opinion on the differences between the zero times brushes and if you want a full review, I'm going to link that up here in the description and my Fermar brushes. And I have a lot of Fermar brushes. So I wanted to talk to you about the differences between these two and some things I like about uh, the zero time system and some things I like about the Fermar brushes. So I've been working with Fermar brushes for a good couple of years now. So I have a pretty good understanding of these brushes and I really do enjoy working with them. But I did try out the zero time system and what really amazed me about the zero time system was how beautiful my balayage came out and i felt like when i was using this particular brush it was like like these two brushes almost combined together when you look at this brush you can see the piling or the way that they yeah the pile of the brush is tighter the bristles are softer, but they're also really tapered, which makes this a really great brush for laying color down and blending color real nicely. So you get like, it's dual purpose because you're able to blend out the color, but you also have precision with it, which really makes this brush a lot of fun to work with. And when you're doing foils, the thing about the taper that's really nice is it helps to control the amount of product you're putting down so that you don't oversaturate the hair at the root. So that is one thing I absolutely love about this brush. And um, I was really like shocked at how much I love this brush for balayages and foliages. And I can venture to say, if she tried making a smaller brush, something um, like this size, I would buy like at least four of them because I love having, this brush is amazing. I really do love it for that. But with these zero time system brushes, you know, are they good for everything? And the answer is, do me a favor. If you are enjoying this content, please smash the like button and subscribe. I make weekly videos. Is no, they're not good for everything. I love touch-ups with these brushes and I, you can see they're getting some good use out of them. And I love this medium brush for when I do glaze root smudges. This brush is great. It gets through the hair so quick and easy and makes it beautiful. Time system is really fantastic for your touch-ups, for your root smudges, and for your balayages. But, I'll... so let's talk about the differences between the Fermar brush and Zero Time brush. The Fermar brush, the bristles are nice and they're bendy and they're nice and tapered too. And that, that tapering is great. Uh, for when you're placing your balayage color down. But I find because there is no gaps here and the bristles are soft and um, the tapering is so nice for um, balayages. I couldn't get over how much I like this. Now this brush here, I absolutely love for when I'm doing my foils. This brush is amazing. The taper stop controls the product at the root so you don't place too much um, product on the root and it controls so it's a little drier and it doesn't, you won't get bleeding as much. Honest with you, when it comes to foils, I love this brush, especially around the hairline. I think that it does a great job and I feel like when I'm doing my foils, I have more control. So when I'm doing foils, I really do love this brush. I think it's, I think it's amazing. I think it works really well and I feel very confident when I'm working with it. This brush, these brushes, you can't, they're beautiful. There's a reason why everybody loves them so much because they are designed very well. They're designed with us in mind and they're not just, you know, 
paint brushes. I love these Schwarzkopf brushes, but they're not tapered like this. These brushes are great. So would I still recommend these? Yes, I think they're fantastic brushes. So I'm gonna be doing a review where I actually review these Fermar brushes against um, a no-name brand, and I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions on that next week. I hope you found value in this content. I'm Maureen Moody, and I'm the Curious Stylist, and I wanna build your confidence in your career through education and science. So if that sounds like fun, stick around. Zero, yeah, the zero time system. I accidentally said that you're supposed to scrape along this side. You're not, you're supposed to scrape along this. This is where the product control is. So when you're scraping along this uh, back pan, that's great. Now let's say you buy this, but you don't, like what, one thing I wish that this system had was two bowls. So I find that like I'll do a root touch up and then I might have to do a root smudge with my glaze. And I found that these Kuhn brushes are great for like uh, extra bowls for this system. They fit right in. They fit right in. So um, it's, or I'm really excited about how Kuhn has the elongated bowls because these brushes fit in.